Hello everyone and welcome to .NET Core Central. In today's video, I am going to talk about command design pattern. Command pattern is also one of the design pattern from Gang of Four. Command pattern is a behavioral design pattern and the main intent of this pattern is to encapsulate a request as an object thereby letting us parameterize clients with different requests, queue, or log request and support undoable operations. From the definition, it's not very clear what it means. The common pattern mainly helps decouple the invoker of a request from the receiver of the request. So let's show this through an example. So in this example, let's say we are talking about a distributed system. And in this distributed system, we have two main service. One is order and one is inventory. And we have a couple of proxy classes for the order in inventory. So we have an inventory proxy, which implements iProxy, which has create and delete. And it takes a type of inventory. Similarly, we have an order proxy, which again implements iProxy, which is create and delete. And then it takes order as an object. Now here, for the simplicity of the example, in these methods, I'm just doing console.write line. But as you can understand, in a real life scenario, these methods will be calling out to another couple of HTTP method to execute some functionality. Now, at this project level, we are going to have an orchestrator which will be responsible for creating an order and then creating an inventory. And then it is going to roll back the order if the inventory create is unsuccessful. So to implement that, one way to do is the orchestrator can directly call these services or what we can do is for decoupling the orchestrator from the actual implementation, this is where we can implement the command pattern. So for command design pattern, there are four main components. The first component is a command which decouples the receiver from the invoker. And then we have an invoker which will be invoking the command the receiver is the one who will be finally executing the command. And then there's a concept of client who will create the command. So to do that, and as you can understand in this example, the order proxy and the inventory proxy is nothing but the receivers here. So now first let's create the command. So I'm going to create a class called command and I'm going to implement all the interfaces and classes inside the same command file. So I have this command.cs and let me use the new .NET 6 features. So first I can create a public interface I command and the command is going to have bool execute that will be one of the method which will execute the command and it is going to take i message which is the message itself and let's declare i message here and i message is just empty because what we are going to do is in the proxy classes the records inventory and order is going to just implement iMessage. So that way we can pass these two into the execute. So the first method is execute. The second method is going to be rolled back because from an orchestrator point of view, it is just going to either execute or roll back if the execution is unsuccessful. This is the two methods. So here, after the I command is created, now we are going to create concrete command classes for inventory and for the order. So first let's create order command, which is going to implement I command. And for the I command, in command pattern, command is the class which decouples between the invoker and the receiver. And in this case, the receiver is nothing but the order proxy. So in the constructor, what we can do is we can take I proxy order. We 
we'll name it as order proxy let's create the order proxy and here what we can do is we can do return order proxy dot create in the create we are going to pass the message but we'll have to typecast it as order so that's what we are going to do so this is going to create an order and when a rollback is called it is going to just roll back the order so order proxy dot delete uh, it's delete because it's a compensating transaction and that's what happens when you are dealing with distributed transaction you really don't roll back you just perform a compensating transaction so in this case this is supposed to do that now if you want to know more about distributed transaction and orchestration and how it works you can check out my video on saga orchestration pattern and its implementation and I'll provide the link in the description below so here we are going to roll back for order command and then finally we are going to have a similar class I'm going to just copy paste which is going to be for inventory which is be inventory command and here we are going to take an inventory proxy and the message will be typecasted to inventory so now we have the command the command takes the receiver to execute the function and then we have to have the invoker so for invoker we are going to create an orchestrator an orchestrator class will have public bool create order which will take an order object and this is where we are going to use command instead of directly calling the proxies and this is how decoupling is going to be achieved so here in the constructor we are going to take i command order command and i command of inventory command and let's create both of these variables and now when a create command is called we can say if order command dot execute order if it is successful then try to execute the inventory command so I'll do inventory command dot execute and here you can pass new inventory and product name is going to be order dot product name and quantity is going to be order dot quantity so if this is successful then return true else return order command dot roll back order so that's essentially what we are going to do so let me put it in the next line so that it's easier to visually see and then if execute order is not successful return false so as you can see here we are doing i execute and roll back using the command and first we are executing on order command and then if it is successful we are executing on inventory command and if the inventory command is unsuccessful we are rolling back the order command so this is a simple example of distributed transaction using a command factory now let me create an interface for the orchestrator so at this point what we have done is we have created the command using the command interface and then respective order command and inventory command and then we created the receiver as the order proxy and inventory proxy and then we created the invoker which uses the command to carry out the execution now finally we are going to create the client the client here is nothing but the api for executing the order so if we go to the program and here we can use the minimal api so we can say app dot map post 
and for the post for the pattern we can say slash api slash order and for the delegate we can say from body and this can be order order goes to to add the namespace for order namespace for from body and here is the implementation of our api now if you don't know what is minimal api i have a video about dotnet 6 minimal api i'm going to provide a link below you can take a look and if you don't like using minimal api you can go ahead and just use normal controller but just for the simplicity of the example i'm just going to do it through minimal api so in this case what we can do is we have to create the individual proxy classes the command classes and the orchestrator so the proxy doesn't have any constructor the command has a constructor proxy and then orchestrator has the two command so what we are going to do is we are going to inject everything in the dependency injection so for that we can come here and say builder.service. add singleton and here we can say i proxy of order order proxy so that's the first one the second one is builder dot service services dot add singleton and here we are going to say i proxy of inventory and the type is inventory proxy and after we add that what we can do is we can do builder dot services dot add singleton and here we can just add the i orchestrator and for the orchestrator we can say new orchestrator and the first one is new of order command and order command expects i proxy of order so here we can do s dot get service of i proxy of order and then for the next one we can do new of inventory common and similar to this we can have i proxy of inventory and that should be it and then here what we can do is we can do from services and we can say i i orchestrator orchestrator and here we can say return orchestrator dot create order of the order so that's pretty much it so here this particular api or the controller method is nothing but the client of the common pattern and then proxy is the receiver the command is the command and the orchestrator is the invoker which asks command to carry out the execution as well as rollback now let's run the program and let's try to execute it build error oh, i don't need this okay so now let's run the application we see the order api let's try to execute and let's say we are trying to add milk quantity is two gallon let's execute and here we can see responses true and if we look into the console we can see created inventory for product milk created inventory for product milk i have a console statement which is copied and pasted mistake created inventory for order also it says created inventory so let's, let's change it to order but this time let's say when it tries to create the inventory let's return false and see that it does a rollback by deleting the transaction 
so let's try to execute the order again let's try it out let's say this time we are buying cookie again okay, two of them let's execute it comes back says true so it created the order for cookie it created the inventory it actually did not create it because we are returning false but the message still says created which is fine it gets a false and then it goes ahead and deletes the order from the cookie and then delete is successful so it is returning true to the ui but it should have returned a false but you get the idea of overall how we can use the command pattern to execute a distributed transaction and we can decouple the actual proxy from the orchestrator through the individual command. So I think if we use the command pattern, it just encapsulate and makes the code more readable in terms of execute and rollback and gives one more layer of abstraction between the actual receiver, which is the proxy and the invoker, which is the orchestrator. So that's all I wanted to cover for today's video. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up. And if you are new to my channel and if you think you are getting value out of my channel, please subscribe to my channel. And thanks so much for watching this video.